Hi, my name is Peter with Transpring USA, and today we're going to go over how to program your filling machine so that it can fill just about any container that you want, including cartridges. Uh, first, we're going to cover the basic concept behind how the filling machine can be programmed to fill these cartridges, and then we're going to go step by step and then show you exactly how to program this machine. Let's begin. So this machine can basically fill any container that can be filled from the top and that can be arranged on its moving platform in rows and columns, forming a grid. Uh, the way that you're going to do this is by showing the machine the exact corner pieces where, this, uh, where it needs to go and then it will calculate the rest of the grid from there and essentially make your programming very easy. You just have to move the machine correctly into three points and it will calculate the rest of the grid from there. So first, let's go over the basic controls of how to move your machine to the points that are required for you to begin programming it. Um, on your handheld controller here, you're gonna see a number of buttons uh, with directional arrows. There are these directional arrows in the lower right-hand corner. These are to move uh, and choose different options on the screen here. But there's another set of directional arrows that you'll notice right below the screen, and it's these orange buttons right here. What these buttons do are move the needle head so that you can begin adjusting the machine. And you have to understand how this control pad works in order to begin programming it. So just so you can, let's quickly review really quickly how these buttons operate. You'll see there's an up, down, uh, up arrow and a down arrow. If I start moving these arrows, you're going to see the actual jig start moving here, the platform. Up moves the jig back, and down brings it forward closer to you. So this controls what is defined as the y-axis, the back and forth movement of the platform. Now if I press side to side on either one of these, you're going to start seeing the needle moving. So if I press over to the right here, the needle moves to the right. If I press to the left, the needle moves to the left. Now the other buttons that you're going to see here are the Z up and the Z down button. That controls the up and down action of the button. So if I press Z down, you're going to see the needle start moving down. If I press Z up, you will see the needle start moving back up. What you really need to know is that these buttons have three different speeds that they can move at. If you just tap the buttons, I'm tapping the right button right now, which means that this is moving to the right. If you just tap it, it makes micro adjustments. So though you can't really see it here on the camera, I'm pressing this button just once, I'm just tapping it, and it's making small micro adjustments to the right. Now if I take the same button and I press and hold it down, it will slowly start moving to the right. That is our second speed. So first by tapping the button, you make micro adjustments. By holding the button, you can make uh, quicker adjustments to it. Now if you want to make really fast adjustments, there's this one button in the middle here called speed. By holding down this button and holding down the other button, the directional button, which you'd like to move, it moves really fast. You can see it moved all the way to the right very quickly. Now I'm going to move it back over to the left by holding down the speed button and pressing left. You see it moves very quickly now. So again, to make micro adjustments, tap. On the camera here, you probably can't see it moving very much. To make bigger adjustments, but a little more slowly, just hold down the single directional button. And to make a very fast movement, covering a lot of distance quickly, hold down your speed button, then press the directional arrow, and you'll see the machine adjust very quickly. That's the basics behind how to actually use the control pad to move your needle and move the platform around so that you can begin programming the machine. So the first thing that we're going to focus on here to begin programming our machine to move through the array of cartridges that we have on the platform is to create a work file. Uh, the way that you do that is when you first turn on the machine, you're going to be presented with a home screen that's going to present you with five options. Um, option one is work uh, parameter settings. Option two is select create work file. Option three, file uh, parameter settings. Option four, edit file and option five is monitor. The rule of thumb here when looking at this 
home screen is to ignore the odd and only pay attention to the even numbers. So options one, three, and five, you're really not gonna use very much. They're to affect the deeper base program, programming of the machine. You're only going to be really using option number two and number four. And the way that we're gonna begin uh, creating our file here is by going to option number two, which is select create work file. So to do that, just press number two right here on your keypad. That will take us into our select create work file area where you can see options to copy a file, paste a file, create a new file. We're actually going to create a new file to work on now. Um, and as you can see from the options listed at the top, that's going to be option number four. So to select that, just press four on your keypad. We're now presented with a blinking cursor prompting us for the file name. Now to enter the file name, uh, you're going to see right below that blinking cursor input method and right now it's currently on number. Uh, to change the input method uh, you're going to press the shift button and you'll see it changes over to lowercase. Um, press it again to change it over to capital letters which are uppercase letters. Press it again it goes to Chinese just in case you want to enter in Chinese and press it one more time and it will return back to numbers. So I want to name this file test in all uppercase letters so I'm going to press shift twice once for lowercase, another to move it to capitals. And it's just like uh, texting with an old phone. Uh, you have to press the number pad uh, the number of times here that corresponds to the li small list of letters that are on each key. So to spell out test, I'll show you exactly how I do it here. T, E, S, T. My file name is now set as test. I'm going to press the enter button once to accept that file name. It's going to prompt me to enter in a file number. This is the first file name test that I've ever created. So press number one here and press enter again to accept that value. And you'll see now we have a new file named test. So to select that file so that we can begin working on that file, just make sure that your highlighted border box is around that file name and press the enter button. You will now be kicked back out to your home screen presented with options one through five. So after we've created our file and we have been kicked back out to the home screen with options one through five, you're going to begin the process of editing that file to input the array that you have right here. But before you go in to start programming your file, it's very important to do one thing, and that is to press the reset button right here on the machine. By doing that, you can see it moves the machine back into its natural position or its neutral position uh, which is coordinate 0 0 0 the entire programming for this machine is based on an XYZ coordinate system and you have to have before you go in to start editing you have to have everything set back to its 0 0 0 coordinate um, now that we've done that we're ready to begin editing our file so to begin editing the file that we've just created you're gonna select option number four edit file and to do that you're just gonna press number four here right on your keypad now, when you have a new file that you've just created and you begin to try to start editing it, the first thing you're going to see at the very top is type with a whole bunch of asterisks. We're going to want to change that over to begin editing our file. So to do that, the first button we press is F3. That's going to put us onto a screen where it shows us what our current XYZ coordinates are. And as you can see, everything says 0, 0, 0. Now, to begin programming, what we're going to do is move the needle into its first position. And the first position here is going to be the very first cartridge that it starts with, which is point A. In order to coordinate or input this whole entire array, it needs to take positions of three corners on this entire array. This first corner here, which is point A, second corner here, which is point B, and then this very last corner in the back, which is point C you'll see me manually move the, the needle into each of these points in order to calculate the size of the array. Here's how we're going to begin. First, we're going to move this needle into point A using our control pad. Now what you may need to do as this starts uh, moving is lean in closer so you can see exactly where this needle is going to go. We need to get this needle precisely into the middle of the fill hole here on point A. So I'm going to lean in for a minute 
and make sure that I can get this needle directly where it needs to be. What you want to try to do is make sure that you get the needle as close to dead center in the fill hole as you possibly can and get the needle to the perfect depth that you want which is about a quarter inch below the surface of the uh, cartridge. Okay, my needle is now in the perfect position for point A. And after I've achieved that position, you'll now see a live readout right here on the right of what the current XYZ positions are. And in order to input that for the first position, we're gonna press the teach button. Now, the, you'll see that the display has switched over back to type with a series of asterisks. And in order to enter into our programming um, input to enter the, the array, we're going to hold down Shift and press F3. This is going to take us to our advanced edit, and you'll see a number of options here. And what we want to do is array copy, which is the second option. So to select that, you're gonna use your cursor buttons down here in the lower right of the controller, these pink arrow buttons. Press down until you've highlighted array copy and press enter. You'll now be presented with a screen where you're asked to input point B and point C that I mentioned earlier. Uh, but first, as you look at the top here, you're gonna to have to enter in the size of your array. So you'll see that the cursor naturally goes to uh, X array number. Since there are 10 columns here on the X axis, I'm gonna enter in 10, because this is a 10 by 10 array of cartridges. So I will input the number 10 here, and then press Enter. Now the cursor will have to be moved down to the next field, which is Y array number. There are also 10 rows going back here on the array. So I will also intent enter 10 for the Y array. And press enter after you've entered your number to accept that value. Now we're gonna press the down arrow one more time to go to X ending point B. You'll see now that the cursor is on the first value for X ending point B, and we're going to manually move the uh, needle out of point A and into point B. First, you're gonna to wanna to press the Z up button to draw your needle out. Then for the most part, you should be able to just move it right over to point B, which is the last cartridge in the first row. Again, I'm gonna lean in for a moment so I can make sure that I get this dead center in the fill hole. Get it down to the perfect depth uh, where mine is right now. And once we have uh, got the needle perfectly positioned, we are again going to press the teach button. You'll now see that the cursor has entered in the values uh, for the B coordinate there into the X ending point B uh, uh, line right here. And, and then after we've pressed the teach button, it automatically moves the cursor down to the next line, which is Y ending point C. So now we're going to move it to point C, which is the very last cartridge in the array. However, before we do that, we want to send the needle back to its original point A. So the way that we're going to do that is by pressing the position button right here. You will see that the machine automatically just moves it right back to its original position, which is point A. Now from point A, we are going to move the needle back to point C, which is the last cartridge in the array. Again, I'm gonna press up on my Z to remove the needle out of the cartridge. Now I'm just simply going to bring the platform forward. 
And again, I'm going to lean in very quickly to make sure that I get the position perfectly into the dead center of the fill hole for the cartridge in point C. Okay, now that I have the needle perfectly into the last cartridge here, I'm going to press the teach button one last time. This will now input the coordinates of that last hole into the uh, Y ending point C uh, values. And now I am ready to create my array or basically create my program. To do that, just follow the instructions right here at the base of the screen that says shift plus enter to make array. So you hold down your shift key, press your enter key, and now your array has been made. It will ask you, are you sure you want to carry out array copy for data between line one and line one? This is an odd way of putting it, but just press yes uh, or enter. You will now be kicked out to the first PTP screen that you might have seen at the very beginning here when we first started editing this. And in order to save the work that you've done, just hold down the shift key and press F2. That long beep says that we have now uh, completed our programming and have saved our program. And to begin testing this program, what we're going to do is kick ourselves back out to the home screen, which is our one through five screen, so that we can start using the machine via the terminal buttons over here. So to do that, we just press the exit button. We're right now out back to the home screen. And to begin testing whether this program has worked, first, we're going to press the reset button here on our machine, bringing everything back to its neutral position. Now let's see if our program works. Just pr simply press the start button. As you can see, each hole is now perfectly mapped into the machine and it's moving very quickly, perfectly into each cartridge. In a later video, I will discuss how to manipulate the timing of the machine, as well as its speed, and how to make adjustments to individual holes or individual cartridges in the array, whether you want to adjust the position or the timing or the speed to those individual holes. But for right now, this is how you program your transferring autofiller.